Hey guys, Jared back again, and we've got another ROM review for your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300. That is the i9300, no auto, other uh, auto, no other uh, model or variant. All right. Okay, so CR Droid version 8.0. We've recently updated from version 7.3. Uh, this is an aroma-based installer ROM. Um, that's a good thing and a bad thing, and I'll get into that and why at the end of the video here. But uh, again, I wouldn't recommend a ROM to you guys, or I wouldn't do a ROM review unless I thought it was a great ROM, and I wouldn't, you know, and I didn't want you guys to flash it. So anyways, um, pulling down the notification tray here, uh, as, as you can see, and now keeping in mind, this is actually based off of uh, the official 4.1.2 Samsung official update, okay? So everything's coherent here. Um, now, we've got some different toggles here. We've got uh, actually quite a few to choose from, and I think he's done a great job giving us a massive selection of toggles to choose from. If you wanted to add or remove any more, you go into Advanced S uh, application, which is there. You'll actually start out with this here. You, you can click on Others, but that's kind of stupid and pointless. Um, but anyways, you click on Widget Buttons, and this is where you've got all of the different widget buttons that you can choose from. 28 in total, apparently, to choose from. And then you can choose the different modes and the sound modes, and as well as the button order if you want to, just kind of like Cyanogen Mod and so on, uh, which is awesome. So got tons there. As well as through the installation process, you can actually choose different theming. Um, previously on version 7.3, I actually had the hollow theming going on. And again, this is something I'm going to talk about near the end of the video, but updating to version 8.0 um, ended up, you know, I, I can't remember the selections I made in the first installation of 7.3, so I did my best to try and get the same look and feel, and we ended up coming out with a black and white, which is what I don't like. But what this ROM does allow you to do by using the Aroma installer is go back and make those modifications that you want, make those changes. If you don't like the look of those toggles, you can change it up without having to flash the whole ROM again and change out the look, and that's kind of cool, but it's also a bad point at the same time. And again, we'll talk about near the end. <laughs> um, getting to the applications here, we've got uh, some applications that it comes with. You can pick and choose which ones you want, which ones you don't want. Um, first, starting out with the music modification applications that it gives you um, uh, options to choose from. So I decided to go with Acid, and then after you choose whatever sound mod you want, you can further choose any additional um, enhancements to that sound mod, and which is I choose um, Awesome Beats. Uh, moving on from there, we also do have Dolby Digital Music, so it's kind of like a, an additional um, sound in enhancement so depending on whether you have your headphones plugged in or just speakers plugged in you can choose from there um, also you do have the option to choose the Android 4.2 stock camera with Photosphere yay um, one thing to note though if you did want to make sure that Photosphere worked flawlessly like it takes the actual Photosphere pictures that you can post it uh, on Google Plus and review it on your phone and so on um, you do have to change your system language to US English all right I'll say that once more US English if you want to get Photosphere to work the way it's supposed to okay uh, with that you're also going to be downloading the 4.2 stock gallery application as well but it does come stock with the um, Samsung Galaxy S3 updated camera app as well so um, whoops if you wanted to use that and it's got all those additional updates I know that there's uh, they've made some um, small changes and additions to the application I just don't remember exactly which ones they were and nor do I care um, you also of course have the updated gallery as well so you can choose the different looks of the gallery if you wanted to you can go to that one or go to this one. Cool, cool. Um, what else? Oh, yes, a 4.2 um, applications as well, Google applications. So you've got your uh, updated maps, updated Gmail with pinch to zoom um, uh, support and all that other good stuff as well. Uh, Multi-window control actually comes with an application because this is a hacked version or modified version of the multi-window window control. Uh, generally speaking, stock, stock uh, Samsung firmware only allows you to have the um, pr a predefined application that it says is support uh, supports the multi-window function. But if you jump into multi-window control application, as you can see here, I've added some additional applications from my app drawer, and you can add more by clicking add an application. It'll bring up your apps list here, and you can add any ones you want, and then getting back out of there, you would just bring that up and then just drop them in there as you want. Of course, clicking edit, it'll bring up all those other applications that you selected that you may want to have as multi-window. Okay, we'll close that. Long press the back button to close it out. Go ahead and long press to activate it, as you can see there. All right. 
Uh, moving on from there, we've also got pop-up browser. Now, pop-up browser on this ROM is supposed to have the um, resizing control or support for resizing. Um, I haven't been successful to resize it, so I don't know if that's maybe something that he has to continue working on. Uh, we also have S Memo. That's an option that I chose. You can choose to add or um, prevent uh, bloatware applications, Samsung applications, and so on from installing on the device. We also have Ad Free. That's an option. If you don't want to have an Ad Free device, you don't have to, uh, but this will uh, download, select and download the um, host files needed for your device to block advertisements from showing up in free applications and so on, uh, which is nice not so much for the developers. Now, what I did find interesting is that um, it comes with a bunch of kernels to choose from. Um, I personally, at this point in time, prefer Perseus uh, kernel on all of my ROMs that I flash. However, oddly enough, even though I didn't choose see a kernel, it still installs the S tweaks application, which is specifically for the SIA kernel, which has a ton of modifications and stuff in there, and it's supposed to be only compatible with the SIA kernel. Apparently, if you do some dicking around with that uh, application and you've got a different kernel running, you're going to look at, uh, you, you could probably ex expect some force closes down the road, from what I understand. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, oh, yes, we also have the option to install um, Samsung Galaxy 3 Easy UMS, which basically t um, enables USB mass storage uh, on your Galaxy S3, which it lacked in its stock form. So that's something to keep note of. Uh, you do also have the option to choose from the different stock browser or Google Chrome or something else that I can't remember. I think it was the Android AOSP. Yeah, that's what it was. It was AOSP browser, the Chrome browser, or the stock Samsung browser. It's up to you. Um, I chose um, Samsung stock browser uh, because I'm not really digging the mobile um, Google Chrome app at the moment. I really don't like the AOSP browser. So I actually use Dolphin browser just in case you were wondering. Um, and of course, we do have access to your widgets by selecting there and of course, all the way to your um, all of your downloaded applications. The ROM itself has been really, really solid and stable. I haven't had any force closes, no random reboots, nothing. Battery life has been great. I'm easily able to get through a day with light to medium usage. All right. Everybody's light to medium usage is different. Uh, mine really is light to medium usage, emails, text messages, phone calls, um, Google Plus messages, you know, stuff like that, testing out apps, you know, things like that. Nothing too crazy. It's not like I'm sitting here on Netflix for four hours a day testing out the battery, all right? So keep that in mind. I'm um, going to the dialer, make sure I don't have any special numbers. Nope. Okay. Uh, stock browser, as you can see here, we'll jump into the call settings and we've got a bunch of um, new options or a bunch of options here. I'm sorry. And we can jump into, there was something in here. I think, I thought there was some additional new options in here, but I could be wrong. Um, whoops, that's it. Okay, never mind, forget that. Forget it, forget it. Uh, so anyways, moving on from there, we'll go ahead and jump into the settings. And pretty standard stuff here, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth data, more settings has got all the stuff you would expect it to have, such as, uh, you know, your tethering and portable hotspot, NFC, S-beam, all share cast, all that stuff, right? Um, we've got the blocking mode, sounds, uh, he's included a bunch of sounds, now you can choose between stock Samsung sounds, notifications, and all that other good stuff, or CM10 sounds, and all that stuff. I chose CM10 sounds, but it does still have, um, oddly enough, even though I chose to not go with the stock Samsung sounds, it does still have all the stock Samsung sounds as well. I don't know if maybe there is an error during the flashing process, or maybe he forgot to, um, remove it during, uh, you know, after you, with the selection of the CM10, um, sounds but nevertheless. Anyways, so there's a lot of great stuff in there, a lot of great sounds. As you can see, I've got the cyan ping um, stuff going on there. And of course, yes, with the Android 4.2, uh, 4.1.2 and the 4.2 applications, um, we do have those um, uh, new sort of notification icons going on there. As you can see, it's got my little Gmail icon, which I love. I love that. I think that's awesome. Um, what else? Oh, yes. Uh, while we're still in sound, we also have music effects. So I was telling you before about how you can select those different uh, music enhancement modifications. This is where you'll find them if you do have any installed, um, which is nice. And what else have we got here? Nothing new there. Uh, display, we do have some new things in here. So you'll notice that we do have the option to enable or disable multi-window support. And we've got our page buddy, which is something we first saw in the Galaxy Note 2. Um, what happens here is when you, and you can check or uh, like enable or disable any ones you want, but we'll start it with earphones page. So say for instance, you plug in some headphones, um, another page will pop up, automatically giving you a selection of different applications that work with, um, 
you know, whatever function your headphone will be uh, uh, providing to you at the time. So like maybe you can have it set up so that um, your music player uh, applications open up and stuff like that. Um, if you did want to find out more about what that does, you can go ahead and click on page buddy help. And there's like a video that you can choose uh, and watch and it'll explain exactly how that stuff works, which is always really, really nice. Um, we also have smart rotation, which was found in the Galaxy Note 2 and has come to the Galaxy S3. Um, smart rotation is just like smart stay where it uses your front facing camera to determine which position the phone is in based on or and in conjunction with the position of your face to determine what is the best rotation it's something that i don't really like and i think samsung was getting a little bit carried away with um after the success of smart stay which a lot of people like that i actually don't find i use too much anymore unfortunately um getting out of there isn't really much else i mean again it is stock samsung rom so if you have a galaxy s3 you're going to be familiar with a lot of these settings here. Uh, going into lock screen, of course, and lock screen options, we do have the option to change around the lock screen shortcuts. These are the ones that it comes with default. And of course, clicking the plus button will bring you to all of the different applications that you have um, options to choose from. And of course, you can disable ripple effects. Some people don't really like that. And we'll back out of there. Uh, language support. Uh, one thing I kind of liked is that they do give the option during the Aroma install, uh, installation process to choose from the um, Android 4.2 keyboard, which is great, which, yes, going to settings, actually has the gesture typing, which if you've seen any of the videos on YouTube about uh, the Nexus 4 and the uh, 4.2 um, keyboard, it's got that swipe, that cool new improved swipe feature that they pretty much ripped off from um, the swipe application and kind of made it their own, which I think is funny, but whatever. Improvements are always better than none, right? Um, what else have we got here? Uh, of course, we do have all of our motion um, settings that you can choose from, just like the Galaxy 3, nothing new, nothing old. And actually, it is old, I guess. Um, from there, we go into about settings, and you'll notice it is 4.1.2. I am personally on baseband DLID. Uh, there's three different modems for you to choose from. Um, when you do choose a modem, definitely when you reboot, um, download the uh, speedtest.net application and test out which ones give you the best HSPA plus speeds. Um, some of them, and, and test it out more than once, okay? Don't just test it out once and say that's a crappy speed and then go to try and flash a new one. Test it out twice, at least twice, uh, because you will get different speeds. And I am speaking from experience, okay? Um, and if you do want to change the modem, then of course, go back into your recovery. Um, act as if you're flashing the ROM all over again, but instead of going through the installation process of the entire ROM, you can actually choose specifically the kernel or modem to flash and it'll just flash that instead of the entire ROM again which is again the benefit of an Aroma installer now if we're going to get into what I was talking about in the beginning of the video why I don't like Aroma installer is because of the update process the ROM update process updating from 7.3 to version 8.0 which is what we're running right now um, is a pain in the butt and the reason behind that is because yes it's an Aroma installer you have to if you want to have the new framework all the new bug fixes and whatever that comes with the new ROM update, um, you're going to have to go through the entire modification theme and application selection process all over again. Now, I have not only emailed the developer, but also asked a question in the thread forum or in the forum thread for this ROM, which I'll be posting a link in the description below so you guys can go download it and test it out for yourself. Um, now in the thread, nobody's helped me. It is an extremely active ROM, an extremely active thread. So I was kind of expecting to get some assistance right away. Uh, it's been several hours now. I still haven't. Um, also, the developer seems to be pretty quick at answering questions to other people, although he doesn't want to answer the question that I had, which was, how do I update this ROM without going through the entire um, feature selection process over again and again and again and again every single time they update the ROM because I am expecting there to be more updates for this ROM as time goes on and when those updates do come out we're going to have to yes go through those selections all over again and the only way you're going to get the same look and feel as you had before with just the update of the new framework and stuff is by writing down every single selection you make which I think is absolutely stupid I think that's the dumbest thing a developer could do um, you know the developers aren't just developing ROMs for themselves now they're developing them for the community and although us the, those of us that do root our phones are more advanced users than someone uh, that doesn't root their phone um, 
you know, it's still such a huge pain in the ass and it's just, the menus are so convoluted and it takes so long to install and select all those options that it's just not something I'm interested in doing every single time. I just want to get an update, um, you know, if, especially if I don't want to have any changes to the look and feel of the ROM itself. But anyways, overall, guys, the ROM has been absolutely fantastic. I can't say enough good things about it without the, uh, with the exception, again, of the installation process being super tedious and the updating process being super tedious. Um, but yeah, I, I really like it. I do recommend you guys download it, especially if you're into the stock feel of the Samsung Galaxy S3 over an AOSP type ROM. Uh, again, I'll be posting a link in the description below for you guys to go download it. Sorry for the long review, but it's a great ROM and it needed to be said. <laughs> That's it for now, folks, though. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit that likes button down below. And if you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. We do have videos five days a week. Uh, but that's it for now, guys. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Post to Google+. Plus. I hate aroma installers. Mmm.